Alright, Technora, woohoo! Um, this is gonna be my tutorial on how I attach Technora to my fireheads. The ever so popular Technora, which is made by these guys, Cajun, Japanese people, 1987. Um, I'll leave the links in the description if you wanna read up on it. And then here's the website, Pelican Rope. Uh, I went to and found it. I got the smallest diameter, which is 1 8 inch. Um, they don't sell it by the foot, but you can call them and get, have samples shipped out to you. Um, okay, to the actual connection. What you're going to need is like some a little rod. This is a bike spoke, or just any kind of rod will work. Even a toothpick would probably work, and you tape it to one of the ends of your Technora. Right here, you don't need too much tape. Just roll it up till it touches the other side, because it will thicken up the diameter of the rope, and it won't pull through the chain. So just roll it up, like right there, till it meets the other side of the tape, and cut the. Rest okay, off. so now you have something that looks like that, so you can use it to splice your rope at the end when you attach it to here. Right here, you want at least five inches of chain. Someone said, I think it was Charlie or Eli, said you could use four or four inches if you have dinky heads, but that's like the absolute least amount you want to use. So I'm gonna go with like five inches here. Uh, also, I'll do a little review on these mini split rings that I bought that I was recommending to everyone. They are awesome. They almost the same diameter as the chain. They have 200 pound weight limit. They're springy so they're really easy to work with compared to the other spurt wings just go get them they're awesome now you want to feed the the cord in there I have about I want to say four feet three and a half feet of cord here because I want to double up because of this method I'm not going to be doing a normal eye splice where they stop halfway in the rope and then pull it out the side and taper it and then pull it back in I'm gonna pull it all the way through so we lose zero strength in our rope and still have a super clean attack. Okay, so this is a lot harder than I thought to film this, but I'm gonna try to see, do it as best as I can. So what you wanna do, start your splicing at what, the closest point to that chain right there. Kinda, oops. You can scrunch the rope together to make the holes a little bit more visible. What you want to do is go in there with this and kind of just stick it through the center and out the center. In the center in one end and out the center in the back end. It's really easy to do but I'm trying to like keep it in the camera frame so I'm keeping this, making it look harder than it really is. Ugh. Alright, there we go. Jesus. So this is the point where we want it to come through it. And continue to pull everything through. So now you can kind of see what I'm doing here. You're going to want to pull that pretty tight, not too tight, because we're going to tighten it up some more later. Okay, so now you have this going. What you're going to do is kind of reverse it now, go through the other way. Well, I'm going to go a little bit lower actually. Now you kind of have the splice, you can see how it's kind of just spliced in there, really nice. Um, the next step is to... We're going to go almost like we're going to do another thing like that, a third one. Ooh, not cool. Not sure what happened here, one of the threads looks wacky. Okay, so now that you have that splice, you're going to want to go in 
again, but this way, not all the way through this time. We're going to go up the gut, up the very center of the rope, all the way to the tip, if I could do this right. If it goes up the center now. And you just keep feeding it through. Which is a trick in itself. Keep scrunching the rope up like that, it makes it a little easier. Pulling it through. long boring video but it's gonna be awesome totally worth the watch right here you're gonna take this little piece of tape off so that the fid can slip the, not the fid but the rest of the cord can slip through and the fid I guess obviously by the way, you can actually buy a real splicing fit if you wanted to, but this is cheap and free, actually, free. Keep pulling until that loop goes away. You kind of have to keep working it, it's tough. There we go. And bam, that's it. There's your eye splice. Your cord. Your cord thickened up a lot. It's around like six millimeters now. Probably gonna tape this up again so it doesn't keep fraying. And I'm gonna attach arrow grips I'm thinking about using with this, the glow in the dark ones. Um, it's a lot stiffer now, the core, but it's really still smooth. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this helps someone. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Cool. Peace out.